Hello. I am so stressed out. I've got a sister coming in tomorrow night. I've got two doctor appointments tomorrow. I've got to go pick up a piece in an exhibition and bring it home. I have an art opening at a gallery in Fayetteville tomorrow night at 6 and I want to paint and you know how that goes when you want to do something and you uh, kind of run yourself out of time but oh and I've got to clean the house and then take all the paintings out of the guest bedroom and put them somewhere else you know how that goes when your house is covered with paintings right but anyway this is my Floral scape is what I named it. It's dry and it's sealed. I did it a few days ago and it was painted with white paint and then I put dropped the colors on it and blew it with the straw. There's a video for it. And it's sealed. And so I just wanted to show you and just to show you the edges, this is the way I sold it immediately when I put a picture on Facebook to one of my clients. And uh, I asked her how she wanted her edges done, and she said, leave them the way they are. So they're white, and then they have some drips. Just a little bit of drips that go over the edge. Some people like to know, you know, what you do with your edges. This is a deep canvas. It's like an inch and a half deep. I signed here on the side instead of on the front because she can turn it any way she wants to as far as orientation goes. So there's that. I also, we spent half a day yesterday at the store looking for cameras, and this is the new one. And the reason we had to get it is because of me and Lily, Lily's mix, going live Saturday at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. My other camera did not allow for live feed. So we had to go spend quite a bit of money yesterday in order to get a better camera so that I can do live feed as well. And then I'm going to get a microphone in the mail today, so I'm looking forward to that too, a wireless mic and maybe there'll be less background noise because I always have my air conditioner running and it, it's like very irritating. Excuse the mess. But I'm going to be making a mess today, so I didn't want to clean up and put new butcher paper down. So I wanted to show you the floral scape. And I am delivering that on Monday. And I did that in a satin varnish. She did not want the glossy varnish. So what I did was I used a sponge and wiped down a glossy finish for the first coat. And then I went back with on the second coat with some uh, DecoArt Americana satin varnish that I happen to have around. And uh, I probably got more somewhere else, but this is what I found like right at my fingertips. So that's what I used is a satin finish and I brushed it on with a sponge brush. I did it like this with the satin finish. And when you do it like that, it ends up kind of drying pretty even, but it almost gives a brush stroke look, which people sometimes like to have a little bit of texture with a, an acrylic painting because it is not an oil painting. So that's the way I did that one. This one, I didn't use any silicone on, and it was I was trying to do the angel wing thing, but it kind of ended up looking like a witch. <laughs> So I like to like turn it either upside down or sideways so it doesn't look so witchy. But it is kind of cool and it's a little bit gothic looking. And somebody else on Facebook said they loved it. And she's a friend of my sister, <clears throat> excuse me, the sister that's coming to visit. And I'm going to go ahead and finish it for you so you can see how I do it just in case she wants to take it back for her friend. So this one I don't think had any silicone. I can't remember. So this is alcohol. I'm 
just wiping it down really quick. And I'm not a fan of using alcohol, really, because I don't think alcohol and paint, dry paint, it almost, I guess it catches wherever there is some silicone. That's what kind of feels funny. If I had any silicone, it would have been in these, you know, little spots here. So, I guess over dried paint, it doesn't do anything, but if you do have any silicone, that's going to be where it catches and kind of gives you a little bit of pull and it feels like it's almost sticking. So that would be where your silicone would be. Otherwise, I didn't use silicone on this painting because I didn't really want cells, but cells popped up anyway. So that is... Now, if I had silicone, I would take me a damp paper towel, and I use good quality paper towels. I don't use the cheap ones because then they leave lint and fuzz on your piece. So I take a good quality paper towel and I put some Dawn dish liquid because it's a degreasing liquid. And I scrub it on all over. But if you want to do the, the powder thing first, you can, which is sprinkling like cornstarch or something like that. Rubbing it on and that will kind of soak up some oil. oil. <laughs> then you wipe it down and then you soap it up. But not, you know, not, I, don't, I don't get it like real soapy and wet. I just lightly soap it up to, you know, get the silicone off. And then you take another damp paper towel and you go over it again and you wipe off all your soapy just to make sure everything is totally off. And then you let it thoroughly, thoroughly dry before you start the varnishing process. The other thing I do when I varnish is I use a sponge brush and I put it in a bag with a date on it. And you let, you let the varnish stay in the brush. You don't rinse it. You let it, you let it stay saturated with the varnish. And then it will do lovely when you do your second and third and fourth coats and that kind of thing, however many coats you put in it. So I'm going to use Liquitex High Gloss Varnish, which is my favorite. And it's very liquidy. And so I put on a pretty generous coat and I basically take my sponge brush on the first coat and this is, I've got it on pretty, I put a pretty good amount of varnish on here so it's pretty thick. And it kind of looks milky, almost bluish in color. But I can tell right now this is going to be a good coat right here. just. Just by scrubbing it on like this, I was I put it on I put on so much varnish that it's pretty it's self-leveling pretty well. My little round marks are kind of going away. But typically, and I'm gonna leave it, but typically I would go back and forth, back and forth. Or or you do it one way. You do it one way so that all your thing, your strokes are in one direction like that. So because it went on so well and I, it, there's no brush stroke showing at all right now. So I'm going to leave it. And all I'm doing is put a little bit more on my brush here is making sure the sides are covered. especially with any dark colors or metallics I'm looking through the reflections and it's a really good coat there's just a drop right there so I'm just dabbing in a drop of paint I see a few little bubbles and you can do, I do, kind of like what you do with when you're doing pouring. You heat it with a heat gun and the little bubbles will pop. And that's all it is. Okay, so the second time around, 
after this is dried for multiple hours, I would come back. So this, you know, I went the length of the canvas. The next time I would turn it and I'm going to go across this direction with my brush. And I will, on the second one, I will brush it. The first one, I kind of just buff it in to get a good coverage. But because it leveled out so pretty, I'm not going over it with the strokes. And with this, you've got to work, with anything water-based, you have to work pretty fast on varnish because it tacks up kind of quickly. And if you, if you start putting it on and you take too much time and you go slow and you're really careful, you're going to screw up because it gets tacky and then you're lifting that varnish back off. So the key with working with varnishes and the water-based family is it's got to go pretty quickly. And I'm sorry about the table shaking. The camera that I got is much heavier than the other one I had and it's uh, on an arm that comes over me on my table. And so right now that's the way it's set up. We've got to figure out maybe a better setup later on, but that's the way it's set up for now. Take this brush and I don't rinse it. I put it right back in my bag. Make sure the air is out and seal it up and it's ready for the next coat in a few hours. This is what I love. The squeeze bottles that I keep talking about over and over again. They're heavier plastic than your cheap dollar bottles from Walmart or the dollar store like this. I like this because it does have a smaller opening. I have like the ketchup and mustard bottles that have the smaller opening. But they, these are typically what you find and they're clear and they're very flimsy and then the opening is like really large. So I'm looking forward to transferring my big fat bottles like that, those paints into this. These are on my Amazon link below the video. And I've got several options to choose from, but these are the ones, eight, eight ounce bottles. And I think they're, the description and the uh, link is something like icing bottles. I'm gonna say it's about $13. So you get eight bottles for $13, so that's a buck and a half a piece, something like that. I didn't even measure it. So here's an old one, here's a new one. The, you know, the, the measurement things, it wears off because of, you know, wiping off the bottle a million times with paint, you know, where fingerprints and everything have gotten. So this is the way they start looking. Nice and crisp and clean with the measurements. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ounces. But what is so fabulous is it's a twist off cap that you can put aside and put back on. And it has a very small opening. That is, is you get the perfect amount of control as far as squeezing out paint for the swipes and things like that. I love these bottles. So I wanted to show you them right straight out of the package that I got from Amazon so that you could see exactly what I was talking about. And if I remember, I will post maybe just a link straight to these bottles under my video as well as just the, the standard Amazon link. And that way you can click and go straight to the bottles if you want to see them on Amazon.